Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So today we are going to discuss about how to differentiate between a immature and a mature fungal colony. Okay, so we have already discussed about colony characteristics or colony morphology for bacteria. In case of fungi, there, there is difference when you study a particular fungal colony. Okay, so the main point, today's main point is differentiate between immature and a mature fungal colony so the basic difference here is time that is required for a particular colony to attain its full growth okay very basic so you can see in this particular image here this one or this this another one is the uh, fully grown fungal colony okay we can number them as one and two here but there are various different size of immature fungal colonies also present on this plate now these you can see they are very small as compared to the one which are highlighted in a red circle so what is the difference here this one or these small colonies they are white in color that means just there is a mycelial growth present okay there is no conidia or conidia fort in case of these colonies which are slightly big and the center is green it means that there is small amount of conidia four present with the spores or conidia okay at the center and the periphery that is the outside you can see here peripheral zone is where the hyphae is present or mycelial mat is present which is growing continuously or it is spreading out okay so that's the reason these are the immature colonies and this one is a mature colony so you can see here whole colony has a green color conidia okay so you can see you can make out the difference between the center of the colony and the peripheral zone you will also get uh, to observe the difference in mature conidia okay so this is how you differentiate between an immature fungal colony and a mature fungal colony. So when it comes to uh, write or interpret your uh, fungal colony or fungal colony morphology, you have to always select a colony which is fully grown. Okay. So this is a, a pictorial uh, representation. So how you have to study this. So this is the center of your colony. Okay. This point. So this is the inside of your colony you consider half of your colony here and you move outside so at the center you have mature conidia or conidia four with a high or you can say a thick mycelial mat present so this is the one which is aging zone that means the older uh, part of your colony after that comes a fruiting zone so this will have um, different color as compared to the aging zone okay so this is the fruiting zone which is still uh, growing and conidia are developing so you can see here there are three stages of conidia shown uh, conidia four shown okay so these two they are having conidia and the third one is still the conidia are developing after that comes a reproductive zone so this is the one which will show or which will have white mycelial growth okay here there is no conidia present only the conidia 4 is developing and there is a mycelial growth or mycelial mat present so this is the white cottony part that you observed towards the periphery of your colony and the inside one is the one that is matured and that has conidia 4 which are um, fully matured or some which are still having or maturing their conidia now this is a mature fungal colony so what's the difference here so you can see this is a fully grown fungal colony and probably i can guess here that while subculturing these spores got dispersed or as uh, you can say if this plate is say 7 to 10 days old and it has been handled um, by mistakely say 
uh, a jerk was uh, given to this plate so what happened the spores fungal spores they got dispersed into the media okay surrounding media and those spores got germinated and now there are small small fungal colonies that you can see so there is a difference between immature colony and a mature colony so you can see a mature colony always has a fully attained growth okay the size of a mature colony is quite big so here we are studying the inside part or the aging zone okay that tells you that your fungal colony is mature okay now here you can see at the center you will have conidia which are fully matured or the conidia fold which has um, high number of fungal spores after that you will see a fruiting zone so you can see here towards the periphery the uh, amount of conidia or the fungal spores is less and towards the outer zone or the uh, last peripheral zone where you can see still there is a white mycelia present which is trying to go, grow outwards okay so this is a difference between a mature colony and a immature colony now in this particular plate you can see the center one is a mature colony which has attained full size okay it is fully grown and at the center you can see there is a change in the older conidia fold okay now this this size of fungal colony is the biggest in your uh, media plate and this one is immature colony as you can see uh, it is still has to attain its full size and the peripheral zone is quite big and the color of center of the colony where the mature conidia fold are present that is also different so these three fungal colonies are immature and the center one that is actually your a mature colony that you have okay so here also i can guess that while subculturing or while spot inoculating at the center two three spores they got dispersed and they got settled uh, nearby the center of your colony or center of your plate and these three colonies they emerged okay so that's the difference between your immature fungal colony and a mature fungal colony very easy to differentiate and identify okay so i hope this video is helpful so do like my videos do share my videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel